going there guys Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here me and Connor are out on a single track ride Connor is riding a YZ 65 and I am riding the uh, Beta 390RR race edition and we're both on sweet bikes so it's pretty cool that we've got the red and the blue now where I live Red and blue is like oil and water because we've got some college teams right by me um, that are pretty, are pretty big rivals. So Connors, and technically this bike's got a lot of white on it now, but Beta is generally a red bike. Yeah, so buddy, stand up. So we're in communication as, today as well. Connor and I are using the Santa headsets. I do not love these things. I need to maybe try some different ones um, that have better technology. Um, but I spent 750 bucks on the three headsets uh, for uh, his younger brother and me and Connor to be able to use these. Anyway, so we're using them today. So you won't be able to hear Connor, but Connor, you can hear me, right? Perfect, he said yes. So. I'm riding behind Connor and watching him and we're having an awesome trail ride. We just started. So, and this is this is a fun trail. Connor has never done this trail and we've got a decent water crossing right here. Let me see how deep this one is, buddy. And see if your bike is gonna struggle or not. I'm gonna go really slow. It's, it's fairly deep. You want me to do it? Okay. Connor wants me to take his bike through, and I don't blame him, it's semi-deep right through there. All right, this is me taking the YZ65 through. We're gonna stand up on the pegs. Look at that little bike. Pulled me right through, buddy. Nice. Okay, there he goes. He's off. It's early June, and uh, we're about a month behind as far as our summer goes. Nice, oh, okay, stop right there because that's not where the trail goes. The trail goes actually right over here. So let me, let me save you because you're kind of in a bad spot. All right, crisis averted. Anyway, we've got a little KTM 65 that his brother's riding, but Connor loves this YZ. And it's a good little bike. Go around to the left and there's a log up there you'll have to bump over it see what oh actually you can go around it now easy okay I'll have you go in front of me here he comes good job Stand up if you can. Ooh, perfect. That's a nasty branch right at your handlebar level. Yeah, we want to stand up as much as possible and make sure you're in first gear. You probably are. Are you in? Okay. And remember, you can just, when you need to shift down, you can always just stomp down. Not stomp, but just click it down. You don't have to clutch it, remember? 
I always say stomp down and sometimes I feel like you and Case sometimes are going to stomp on it. I don't want you to break it off. I just want you to click it down. But this is good. You're doing awesome. You like this trail, buddy? See, I never went on anything like this when I was a kid. I didn't know stuff like this existed until I was almost 30. Yeah. So, and now you can click up to second. There's a, there's a ditch right up here though. So click back down to first and take a look at it. Oh, it's not bad at all. Perfect. Nice work. This tree keeps getting lower and lower, I swear. We're gonna have to cut this thing out soon. If you think it's bad for you, how do you think I'm gonna get under it? I've gotta lean the bike over. So if you leave the bike running, it helps. So I'll let, I'll let you get out of the way and then I'll show you how I do it. So, okay, stop, turn around. So I'm gonna lean the bike, I've gotta be all the way off the bike and I'm leaving it running and I'll get down on my knees and I'll just let the power of the bike go over like that. I mean, not the power, I'm using the power of the bike to push it through with the clutch. And now I'm through. So this is a massive tree. We've got to get some of these branches cut off. And we're off again. See, those roots right there were much bigger than that other one that you had trouble with. Click into first. Okay, good. Good job. See that those roots right there, they're just as big. So this is this is another one. You'll be able to get up this one. Especially since you, your tire has a little bit of momentum and then you'll just bounce over it. Yeah, and it's fine. It'll, it'll go around it. I've seen enough dirt bikes to know that that bike will go over that really easily. It'll whip right around it. If you're in first gear and you let the clutch out, slow at first, but make sure your clutch is all the way out when your tire hits it. Rev it up a little bit so it can run. Rev your bike up, go zit, zit. Okay, perfect. Now, see, perfect. I'll get behind you. Okay. Okay, you gotta, you gotta let the clutch out a little faster, okay? More gas and let the clutch out faster with more gas. Yep. Nice. That was, that's more like it. Good job. That was great. And this is tricky. I've had full grown men. Yeah, look at you. I've had full grown men on this trail struggle like crazy. So the fact that you're doing it on a 65 is awesome. Can you believe that? Yeah, you gotta be proud of yourself when you have some good wins like that. Nice, I like how you climbed up the hillside but then saved it. You climbed kind of out of the rut a little bit but then you saved it. That was sweet. That's a good skill that you'll need the whole time you're riding and you'll probably need it again on this ride because there's a bunch of turns like that. This is a really tight left-hander. Oh, it's not as tight as I thought. There's some, there's one up here that's really tight like that, this one. Yep, good job, dude, holy crap. That was awesome. That was awesome. 
So I've had you or Case right here on this trail from the top. Do you recognize this? Okay, it must have been Case. He he was on this on his Kate on his Honda 50. See th from the top. Dude, you're doing so awesome. These are tight turns and lots of brush and you're smoking it. Nice work on a tough bike to ride with a clutch. Yeah, that probably hurt your hand, huh? Okay. Whoa, you okay? Good job, good save. So did your, uh, did your foot peg hit that? I think our thing dropped out. <laughs>